drop shows this, and we've got to find where it crosses the x-axis. So you'll find that point there, and that's when y equals 0. So y is 0, and that means that 0 equals 12 minus 3x squared. Add 3x squared to both sides, then divide by 3, and then square root both sides, so x equals plus or minus 2. So that's negative 2, that's positive 2. And now I've got to find by integration the area of that region. So basically you've got to integrate between minus 2 and 2, 4, 12 minus 3x squared with respect to x, because we're doing it underneath the curve. And that equals, um, we've got square brackets, we've got limits, so 12, that'll be 12x, differential 12x get 12. And then this will be x cubed, because we're integrating, so the power has to increase. And then what do we have to be? So we've got to times 3 by something to get minus 3. That's going to be minus 1. 3 times minus 1, minus 3. And I've always just checked to start with. Nothing else. You don't need a plus C because you've got limits here. So minus 2 to 2. Substituting 2 to start with. 12 times 2 minus, and then x, that's 2 cubed. And then minus, I'm going to put in brackets, 12 times negative 2 minus negative 2 cubed and that comes to 24 minus 8 minus minus 24 and then minus and um, negative 2 cubed is negative 2 so minus and minus 8 is minus minus 8 which is plus 8 and then that comes to 32 and we found the area that's it that's done